Uh, thanks for joining us at uh, Update Conference Prague 2021. Uh, your session uh, will be starting in about 30 minutes. So can you just tell us something about yourself? Where do you come from? What are you doing? And yeah, what? so originally I come from Finland, but I live in Zurich, Switzerland now. Um, I work at Kamunda as a senior product marketing manager. But I'm also a CNCF ambassador as well as an Azure MVP. So mm -hmm. I think what those mean is that I'm just super excited about community and tech. Uh, and I love also speaking at community events and tech events in general. And I'm um, a huge fan of communities and cloud native tech as well. So that's kind of me in a nutshell, I think. Mm, nice. Uh, the CNCF is uh, very interesting. Uh, but uh, I'm, uh, I think that uh, many developers have never heard this name. So can you just introduce CNCF? Yeah, of course. So CNCF is Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Um, it's a foundation under Linux uh, Foundation, so it's a non-profit. It's home to communities, to Prometheus, and a bunch of other really cool cloud native projects. So the mission of the foundation is essentially um, foster cloud native open source projects and to make sure that they bloom and they have a chance to grow and become really cool and mature projects. So um, it hosts a lot of different activities from weekly webinars to, um, you know, newsly we newsletters. Um, it organizes KubeCon, which is one of the largest open source project, open source events in the world. Um, and obviously, the main purpose there, there is to, to foster these open source projects that everyone can use and um, make Kubernetes and cloud native tech even better in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess the most famous project, most popular today, is Kubernetes. So. But yeah. I hear from the developers that uh, it's uh, very hard to start with. That's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of uh, things to learn. So do you have some advice where to start, where to look at? And yeah, I think that's a very valid question. Um, and I think um, what I always stress is that no one should feel alone with the complexity mm -hmm. of Kubernetes because mm -hmm. it can be a bit daunting to start with. Mm -hmm. um, what I like to remind people of is that the CNCF does a survey every year looking into oh, how cloud native tech, how Kubernetes is adopted in the world. Um, and that obviously the, the survey respondents are very deep into Kubernetes quite often. Um, and even they say that their number one kind of challenge as far as using Kubernetes is complexity. So no one is alone with this issue. No one should feel uh, bad about being a bit daunted by this task. Um, but then as far as the tips on how to get started, well, I think there's a lot of great sessions from people that you can listen to. Uh, my session also that I'll be doing here um, in, in 20 minutes or so is focused on, I guess, helping people to get started in this scene as well. And um, what I really like to focus on as well, that you don't have to use Kubernetes out of the box. You don't have to battle with the complexity alone. Uh, there's a lot of cool CNCF projects as well that can help you with there. So if, um, for example, Helm is a really great one that you can use to do package management. So you don't have to be an expert at everything at all the time. Um, and if you are confused with the amount of all the different CNCF projects to, to like which one should you start with, what should you use, CNCF also has a trail map that you can kind of follow step by step that you can see, okay, first I'm gonna um, take this step in this path and then move on forward. So that's really helpful as well. Um, and I do have to say also that the documentation is really lovely as well in Kubernetes and um, um, cloud native world. So you can really leverage all of, the, all of the community material and make yourself kind of from zero to hero already just by almost from documentation. So there's a lot of resources for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. So that uh, also works as a teaser for visiting your session in Hall B in uh, 20 minutes. And uh, so uh, do you see any trends in cloud computing or what do you think we, will, we can uh, look forward to in the next few years? Yeah, I think for at least for me, one of the most, well, mm -hmm. it's not completely a new thing, but what to me is, is really wonderful is the trend of automation being added more and more and automation being... Um, considered for all aspects, I think, of computing, because I think if developers can focus less on just, you know, the menial tasks and just kind of, you know, doing something that's not truly the thing that, that makes development 
interesting to them, I think that's really wonderful. So whether it be automating processes or um, optimization of different parts of Kubernetes or cloud native tech, I think that's always a really great thing to do. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say that's one of the things that I like to work with particularly. Mm -hmm. And what's next for you? I heard that you will be speaking on other conferences. Next. Yeah, so I'm flying mm -hmm. to Vilnius, to Lithuania today to speak mm -hmm. at Build Stuff. Um, I'll be speaking there tomorrow about actually Kubernetes uh, optimization. <laughs> so looking forward to that. And then I'll also be speaking on Saturday virtually to Latin America for the open about how to get started with Kubernetes in the cloud. So um, it's been really great. Yeah. So thank you for this nice interview. I'm happy that uh, we had the opportunity to have you here in Prague. And I hope that you will visit Prague someday in the future. And so thank you very much and uh, take care. Of course, happy to. Prague is absolutely lovely. Thank you so much for having me. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm.